Good evening, everyone. Blessings, love, light. How's everybody? Yeah. All right. Woo. Well, welcome. It is such a divine pleasure to be here this evening. And we're just going to open with some music. And I thought we could all sing a little together just to let our voices enter into the space and allow for some grounding in song. So this is a, this is a chant, and um, it's by Molly Hartwell. It's called Put Your Roots Down. You might have heard it. So I'm going to give it to you, and y'all going to give it back to me, OK? Put your roots down. Put your feet on the ground. You can hear the earth sing if you listen. Try it. Put your roots down, put your feet on the ground. You can hear the earth sing if you listen again. Put your roots down, put your feet on the ground. You can hear the earth sing if you listen again. Put your roots down, put your feet on the ground. You can hear the earth sing if you listen. Excellent. Because the sound of the river. Let me hear it. Because the sound of the river. As it moves across the stones, as it moves across the stones, is the same sound as the blood in your body. Is the same sound as the blood in your body. As it moves across your bones, as it moves across your bones. Are you listening? 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 And put your roots down, put your feet on the ground. You can hear the earth sing if you listen. Put your roots down, put your feet on the ground. You can hear the earth sing if you listen. Cause the sound of the river as it moves across the stones is the same sound as the blood in your body as it moves across your bones. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? Sing with me. Put your roots down, put your feet on the ground. You can hear the earth sing if you listen. Put your roots down, put your feet on the ground. You can hear the earth sing if you listen. Cause the sound of the river as it moves across the stone is the same sound as the blood in your body as it moves across the bone. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? Come on now. Put your roots down, put your feet on the ground. You can hear the earth sing if you listen. Put your roots down, put your feet on the ground. You can hear the earth sing if you listen. Cause the sound of the river as it moves across the stones is the same sound as the blood in your body as it moves across your bones. Are you listening? Ooh, you guys sounding good. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? One more time now. Put your roots down, put your feet on the ground. You can hear the earth sing if you listen. Put your roots down, put your feet on the ground. You can hear the earth sing if you listen. Cause the sound of the river as it moves across the stones is the same sound as the blood in your body as it moves across your bones. Are you listening? 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amen, amen. Are you listening? 
came and walked into a groove. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One more time, let's give her a round of applause. It's Marianne Lewis. And thank you. Welcome, welcome to Spiritual Unity Movement Summer Night. It's a warm, beautiful day today. And it's one of the coolest that we've had so far, at least in a little while, but I'm enjoying it. Welcome again. It's nice to see all of your beautiful faces. If anyone has any requests for speakers or musicians, we would love to hear that. And I would invite you to reach out to Liz or Burl or Frank. To Florence in particular, she books our speakers and musicians because it's time. We are ready to book next year. 2024 is already in, in the works. So if you would like to be a speaker or musician, let us know. Um, but definitely talk to Ms. Florence Riggs. She's right over there. So I thought that we would begin with addressing that which is relative to the world at large, since this is a, this is a world healing meditation ceremony. Um, I put in several seats the Great Invocation. If you do not have a copy of The Great Invocation, I would like to ask those who are in the front row if you would just pass one back. And, and thank you, Liz, it is in, the, in your flyer, I mean, in your program. So as a group, once silence hits the room, we will begin to speak the great invocation. Our personal vibration is so powerful, which is the reason we are all here. And so I invite you to lend your power to these statements of truth and let them vibrate out into the world so that we begin our ceremony at the same note that we end our ceremony. And when we are ready, let us begin the great invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, light streams forth into our minds. Light descends on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, love streams forth into our hearts. Love increases on earth. From the center where the will of God is known, purpose guides our wills the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call humanity, the plan of love and light works out and seals the door where ignorance dwells. Light, love, and power restore the plan on earth and all is well. And so it is. Now, we've addressed the world at large I invite you now to close your eyes for just a moment. This is an internal proposition to self, from self, for self. I'll read the affirmation and you can repeat the words after me as you like. Nice deep breath in together. Right now and always, I love, I love, honor and celebrate myself, and, celebrate myself. And, I so and I do so for others. I see the divine love and light, see the love and light. In, every in every face that crosses my path. I see the blessings in all of my experiences, and I treat others as I wish to be treated. My heart, is open. my heart is open, and I sing the joys of love all throughout my day. I continue to be love every moment that I am awake, every that I am awake. and so it is. Amen. So it is. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you for joining me in that, and I'm going to share just briefly why that is so. This week has been a very interesting one of aggressive energy and passive, gentle energy. 
And I found as I watched the pattern cycle, three times I watched the pattern cycle until I got it. And I realized, okay, this is for you. It's a message here for you. And so I walked out to my car to take a quick drive so I could get out of my house. I needed to get out of my house. But as I approached the door, okay, so I walked out the house, a certain feeling, but I approached the car door. Now you know that split where the front door panel and the back door panel meet? There was a spider there, a tiny little white spider, and it was laid out like this. And I walked up and I said, oh, I see you there. <laughs> now what am I supposed to do? Because you cannot stay there. I'm trying to leave and you cannot be there. So I got in the car the other way and that didn't feel right. So I went back out and I talked to the spider a little more. And then I found by listening in that I was meant to go as well. Open your heart, said the spider to Dina. And so I did. I turned around instead of getting in my car, I went back into the house. And I felt the energy of me, which had been engaged by Spidey. I walked in and I delivered it. And that day changed things to the next day. From that day forward, things were different. They're still a little ee, -ee but it's definitely not as closed off as it was. So my heart is open. So when the day moves you, and you're moving through your day, and you can feel the grip of tension with its fingers clenched into your shoulder or pressed across your back, just open up. This is all eight legs. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. I open my heart to this moment and I allow the moment to be what it is. That's it, right there. I open my heart to this moment and I allow the moment to be as it is. And there's a beautiful man standing in the doorway with a beautiful bouquet. Please come in. Tonight, we are so blessed to have Marianne Lewis with us. And I know that it's not quite time to talk about her, but I can't help it because she's sitting right there. I listen to you often, you don't know that, but I, I have the recording of the last time you were here, so I play it all the time. And I get to hear you say over and over again how much you love us, so <laughs> we love you too. Um, I wanna thank, no, that's, sorry, that's my closing. So, Spiritual Unity Movement is a 501c3 organization, and we've been together for quite a while now. We have a, an, a standing, an outstanding board of directors, and I would like to invite anyone that might be interested in becoming a member of the board to please, again, talk to us. There's Frank Williams, the president of the board in the back corner over there, and he's waving his hand. He would love to talk to you about that. So we begin this ceremony featuring Miss Marianne Lewis, and I'm gonna just jump right in. Marianne has been with us before, as I said, and she is a very dynamic performer, which you've already witnessed. She's a transformational artist, and she loves, clearly loves, to download joy. She is a moving vocalist, so we already know that. <laughs> so as you listen to her today, Remember that you have permission already, because she gives it, just through the radiance of her being, permission to get involved. If she invites you to participate fully, join in, and, and let that carry you home. Her, she's also an award-winning filmmaker. She's an actress and a coach, and she's the president of, and she's the president and founder of New Grove Enterprises, which is a film and music production company which reaches for and produces the highlights and the highest of vibrational information for all of us to engage in. So look her up, www.MarianneLewis.com, I'll throw that out there now. She is also the music and arts director, arts director for Agape International Spiritual Center, and she's the director of the Agape International Choir. So. Before we get into all of that, which is Mary Ann, we're going to begin with our opening words. I'm sorry, our opening rituals, and I invite Florence Riggs to come on up and give.
Hello again. Wow, it's great to see so many beautiful, smiling faces. Some of you are very familiar and other first timers. So welcome, everyone. Um, we're going to begin this evening. Oh, I think I need to have my glasses on for this. Oh, very nice. OK, turn off your cell phones. That's a very important thing. Don't even put them on vibrate, because that'll be disturbing. We, we know that. So we're going to begin our full moon meditation this evening with an invocation. Great Father, Mother, God, and Goddess, be with us here now. Hold this sacred space, sacred, from which we may do our work. Open our hearts to your golden light, that we may radiate love into the hearts of all. Open our minds into your divine knowing, that we may radiate understanding into the minds of all. Open our spirits to your infinite presence, that we may radiate awareness into the spirits of all. One heart, one mind, one spirit, unlimited and indivisible. Be still and know that I am God. Acknowledging that spirit is one and the paths to God are many, in our opening ritual, we will honor the world's religions and the many names of God with a quote from each of the religions and on the topic of love. A bell will be rung and a candle lit as the name of divinity is sounded for each of the major religions of the world, after which we will sound the Om. Om, as you know, is an ancient sacred tone, a deepening, a sounding. The Om allows an intoning of grace and balance and empowerment. There's no right, or way, uh, no right way or wrong way to do it. Simply relax into your own tone and open to the nuances of this sacred sound as it moves through you. Our opening ritual will conclude with all of us sounding the Om several times, each on your own note and in your own time, in a continuing free form rhythm, creating a tapestry of healing sound. We honor all religions as expressions of the one God, great spirit, divine essence, May the wellspring of love find in us an unimpeded channel. Om. In the sacred tradition of Taoism, please come forward. The Tao, spirit arms us with love. Thank you. Om. In the sacred tradition of Hinduism, Ishvara, Shiva, Vishnu, Brahma, one best worships the Lord through love. Om. In the sacred tradition of Buddhism, Lord Buddha, cultivate a heart of love. In the sacred tradition of the sacred feminine, the goddess in all her forms, the divine mother loves, nurtures, and sustains all. Oh. In the sacred tradition of Judaism, Adonai, Elohim, 
you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself. In the sacred tradition of Christianity, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God is love. In the sacred tradition of First Nations people of all lands, love is the medicine that holds all life together. In the sacred tradition of Islam, Allah, this is love to fly toward a sacred sky to cause a hundred veils to fall each moment. In the sacred tradition of all other religions. You may now say together any other religion that you would like to name and additional names of divinity that you would like to invoke. As we prepare for our meditation, let's uncross our arms and legs if you already have not done that. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable doing that. And take a long and deep breath in and out. And another, in and out. And as you take your third breath, relax and let go. Let go of the day, let go of people, let go of challenges, and just be. And when you're ready, put your feeling attention into your heart center and relax even more. Imagine a bright, warm sun floating above your head. Its rays are emanating down into the crown of your head. The sun is releasing a pure white light. This light is floating down, filling your head, your neck. It floats across your shoulders, down your arms, and out your hands. It fills your torso. Feel it. Your organs are enveloped in this pulsating, purifying light of the sun. As the sunlight continues to float down your body, through your legs, and out the bottoms of your feet, it washes away all impurities, all imperfections, and pain, and disease, deep into the central core of Mother Earth. Your body, right here and right now, is filled with divine energy. Right now you are whole, perfect, and complete. And as the light continues to energize, pulsate, and vibrate, allow it to expand out through your auric field. Expand it out the front, the sides, the back. Continue to expand it. Expand it larger and larger. Fill the room, 
fill the city, fill the state, fill our planet. As you continue to feel the perfection of your light body expanding, continue to allow it to expand. You are filling the room with divine essence. Continue to expand your awareness and divine essence out of the onion. Continue, continue, continue. Permeate all of creation. The white light of perfection is now vibrating and pulsating, connecting all beings on the planet and all those who gather with conscious intent to heal, bless, balance, prosper, harmonize, and unify through these islands of light. We have now set the vibrational tone for the ceremony, Summer Nights. And so slowly, gently, bring your awareness back into the room, back to present time, take a deep breath, open your eyes. Continue coming back, coming back, coming back. And now I'd like to introduce Liz Curran to No Message of the Moon. Okay, what's next? Let's see. Oh, chant. The Om Shanti chant is coming up. Yay. Aganez, Dina. We need another mic, too. Mike, do you want to give us one extra mic? Mike is giving us a Frank mic. Frank is getting it. Oh, good. Frank is getting it. He'll bring okay. it. So if you have your percussion instrument, this is the time. And please stand up. Feel free to move your body. Feel free to go with the groove of Oh Mushanti, which is, as some of you may know, was written by our wonderful Ricky Byers. Not going to move that part. Let there be peace, peace in, in my, my mind. mind. Let there be Shanti Shanti Om Om Shanti Om Shanti Om Shanti Shanti Om Om Shanti Om Shanti Om Shanti Shanti Om 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 Shanti Om Peace within my mind Peace within my mind God and only God is moving me. Peace within my mind. God and only God I live to see. Peace within my mind. God and only God is moving me. Peace within my mind. God and only God I live to see. Om Shanti Om Shanti Om Shanti Shanti Om 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 Shanti Om. Peace within the earth. Peace within the earth. God and only God is moving me. Peace 
peace within the earth. God and only God, I live to come see. Come on, come forward. Peace within the earth. God and only yeah. God is moving me. Peace within the earth. God and only God, I live to see. Om Shanti Om Shanti Om Shanti Shanti Om 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 Shanti It is my incredible, amazing honor to announce Marianne Lewis, who is so incredibly multi-talented, who has a heart of gold, who is a powerful, powerful prayer, and who is going to speak to us tonight about summery, sunny kind of things. <laughs> Marianne Lewis, thank you. <laughs> wow, wow. Thank you. Oh my God, thank you so much for that beautiful introduction. And thank you so much for just filling the space with such love. Uh, it just it just washes over me and I'm so reminded that this is, this is such important work that we're doing. Raising that love vibration. There is a call, and we are answering that call by doing this very thing of coming together, of singing together, of, of, of calling in the, the truth that runs through each religion and, and beyond, and knowing and anchoring that that truth is love. And that is the one power. That is the only power. And that it is time for us to rise up and be active, bringing it into this world, making a difference. So I just so bless and give gratitude for this gathering and for each one because it is what it is because each one is here each one said yes and uh, and, and you just feel it it's palpable so thank you thank you thank you i want to also just give thanks to the ancestors and thank you for the drumming and just bringing in this energy of the earth and everything that has come before us to bring us here to this moment. And to begin, I'd like to, I'd like to begin just with this song because it is the prayer and how wonderful it is to always start that, that we do in prayer. Watch us as we go 
and help us to be wise in times when we don't know. Let this be it is to just know that we are always guided, we are always held, we are always loved. Mm, so we call upon those prayers. All right, summer nights, summer nights. I was thinking about, thinking about this and, you know, um, one of the things that came to mind was you know, summertime would come, and oh man, that was that was great because you could just we woke up in the day, and we were like, "Hey, what do you want to play today? What do you want to do?" 
you know, what do we want? What do we want to do? And and me and me and my brother, we used to just create all kinds of things. And it was so fabulous when I think back on it, you know, that we literally would just shape the day. So, you know, what do you want to do? Um, let's let's play, it was usually some kind of television show or movie that we'd seen, you know. And so it's like, let's play Batman and Robin. Yeah, okay, all right, you're gonna be Batman, I'm gonna be Robin. And you know, so we'd get like a sheet or a towel or something, and we'd tie it around our neck, and we were the Cape Crusaders, and we'd go out. But before we went out, we, had, we, we, we were checking the little plate over there for some leftovers from, from breakfast, and it's like, well, we might need this for energy. So, you know, we little patty, a uh, little sausage patty we took and put it in our pocket. And, uh, and we'd go outside and we'd be fighting crime. We were, we were taking care of the streets, you know, and we'd run and we'd go up, up and down the streets. It's like, okay, Batman, Robin. And then, and then all of a sudden we'd be like, oh dear, I'm, I'm running out of energy. Oh my goodness. Ooh, wait, I've got my super packed power pack in my pocket and we pull out the, this little patty and take a bite and it's like, oh, I've got all this energy again and, and, and we'd be back at fighting crime. So, um, you know, it's all summer was just one thing after another. It was, it was all the imagination. We, we were playing and creating our world and it was, it was easy. I was just, that was just what you did. Until the street lights come on and you gotta go on inside, you know. But, um, but I just, I, I was just tapping into this, this power of play, you know. And the innate energy and power that we have within us to create our world always. So we, we just want to remember to be like a little child in moments when perhaps we're getting a little serious in life and to, to, to go back to that inner power that we had. Uh, you know, when I, uh, when I was young and kind of coming out of school, I was a, definitely a seeker and really, I was just really wanting to connect with what am I? What am I up to? What am I here for? What am I? What am I to do? And you know, so I did a variety of different things. You know, little Myers Briggs, and might have gone on over to the tarot reader and the numerologist. You know, I know. Just, just I'm the only one who did that. But, <laughs> but I discovered a theme for for my life and what felt like a calling for me. And there was a a deep passion for freedom, for freedom of expression, freedom of creative expression. And, and I'm like, this resonates, to be free and open. And there were incidents that had happened when I was younger that really closed me down and, and took my voice in, in many ways. And so um, there was, it was a challenge to express, to be seen, and to, to put myself out there, if you will. Um, and so capturing into this, like lighting up into this, I, I realized that there was something that was calling me that was beyond what some, the mind was sometimes keeping me bound, small, and locked into. And that that was the thing that was truly guiding me. So this idea of freedom, it's certainly that that has, you know, we celebrated Independence Day, we celebrated Juneteenth, we're, we're in this, this time of of looking at freedom and independence. And there's a, certainly an awareness that while we have opened doors with m the principles that we stand for in this country, that there is a long way to go in terms of truly 
allowing us all to be free. And that's why I feel that the work that we do in anchoring this energetic, this truth of love is vital in a way that is beyond what we could really even speak to at this time, that we have been made in the image of something magnificent, wonderful, whole, complete, for such a time as this. So we will bring that light. We will bring that energy. So the title of of this summer night's talk for me that came up is the state of the union. The state of the union. My fellow countrymen, my fellow global citizens, let us talk about the state of our union. What do I mean by that? As we know, there is one life, there is one presence, one divine source. It indwells us. It is us. It celebrates itself in each and every one of us. And there is that, that as we melt and tap into it, it takes over. Because it is its life. The living one, the divine one. The one life. So the state of the union is a question that we ask ourselves, what is the state of our unifying with the one and knowing in all times that we are one with the spirit? Right now, there is, there's, it's, it's like a, a felt need to have that expansion and expression and, and to, to really live it out loud. But there's an element of conflict as we look out upon the world and we see that there are energies that are, would divide us and, and, and point out differences and try to keep us down, keep us bound. So many of us, without our even knowing, are walking with a slave mentality, if you will. What are we bound to? The electronic things that, you know, keep our heads down and, you know, if, if we're losing power, we, we think, oh, no, what's going to happen? Oh, oh, my gosh. I remember one time I was going to visit my, going to visit my brother and his family in Arizona, and our, our whole family was going. And uh, I got to the airport, and I realized, oh, I left my phone. <laughs> I left my phone, <laughs> and I was devastated, but I was particularly a little concerned because I was like, ooh, they're going to talk about me. <laughs> they're going to, my family, they're going to say, what, what are you thinking? And, and, and I just decided, I decided, you know, I'm just going to own it. Yeah. I left my phone. I just need a little me time. I just wanted to set the thing aside. I didn't need it. I don't need it. I'm good. I'm cool. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to you just got to own it. Fake it till you make it. Young lady. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> but the different distractions and things that we might be be be, be they're they're holding our attention from something other than the one that that we are, that that we are unified with, that whose business we are to be about. So I, I feel that as we continue to awaken and recognize when these things are taking place, like, you know, the television, all of these things are wonderful, you know, wonderful expansion of technology and, and information and whatnot. But when we think about it, it's like the television is telling you what your vision is going to be, you know. So we want to we wanna shift that 
to, you know, to, to the owner vision, you know? What's your vision? You know, standing in your vision. So that's, that, that's what we want to be watching. That's what we want to be listening to and, and, and anchoring and knowing that it's important that we do it because we're here for a time such as this. We have the answer. We are the answer. So at this time in the state of our union, the charge is to be your own authority. When we look to the outer world, and sometimes there are those who are, are looking to the outer world and looking for some, something to come and make everything smooth and better. Somebody, come on over here and save me, help me. You know, we're looking to the outer world and, and the people, and it's like, well, I, I'm not going to vote over here, but I'm going to vote, vote for this because I want this person to be in the office making the rules for me. your own authority. We've got it all right in here. We, we get to call things forth. We have this power to name a thing a thing. We have this ability to create our world, to be the caped crusaders in our own lives. If we will but just allow that. Trust it. So the other thing in the state of the union is our faith. Now's the time to lift up that, those weights and let's, let's anchor our faith and let it expand to know that in every single moment we are walking with something so extraordinary. And as that very thing, that there is nothing that could stop us, nothing that could contain us or keep us down. Everything is supporting us. And it says, yes, yes, my child, yes. Everything laid out for us, available. What do you want to play today? What do you want to see? What's the vision that we're holding? And are we strong enough in our faith to know that it must come forth because we called it forth. That's the power of our word. Don't deny it. Own it. As we own, own our vision, own the power of that word, which, which lets us know that we have this opportunity to also watch what we're saying, watch what we're thinking, because it's, it's a vibration. And sometimes, you know, I, I think back when I was in high school, I had a, a, I have a dear friend and, you know, we used to be very self-effacing and kind of make jokes about ourselves. And, all. and when I think back to that, it's like, okay, that, that's fine. You know, we we're finding humor and lightness and things to a degree, but at the same time, I was like, I was affirming stuff that I didn't really want to experience, you know? I didn't even know it. So we get to be still and know the sweetness of what we are. And what's so amazing as we continue with our steps of meditations, of prayer, of leaning into others when we might be having a challenge and to really own the royalty that we are and be it, that we get to hear a voice of absolute love, absolute love. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. Can we, can we hear that? Can we take that in? Because sometimes life may have conditioned us to hold it off, 
to say, oh, I, I'm, I'm not really worthy of all of that, or, oh, no, 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 not, not me. But the divine is just, just delighting in itself, in its creation that is each of us. And if we listen, it's ever so still, so intently and gently, we can hear it just, I love you, 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 I love you. What if we bring that to this outer world? bold enough to walk up to people and just let them know, you're so amazing. Do you know how amazing you are? I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for bringing your gifts. Thank you. And we're so willing to take that step with an act of kindness, with an act of speaking up and saying something that could change a person's world in their life. We may not have money to give somebody on the corner, but we can roll down the window and tell them, you're a phenomenal being. I see your light. Keep shining it. The state of our union needs that. It needs us to love one another like never before, to be so bold that we will do acts of grace and kindness and generosity that blow our own mind, that the world can change and be lifted into that vibration of oneness. Oneness. So then we get to ask ourselves, what, what is the state of my union? When I am knowing who I am, when I'm walking as the queen that I am, when I am recognizing that the entire universe that has birthed itself and the brilliance of the sky and all of nature and this grandeur that has peppered the, the sky with stars and, and the, the, the grains of sand, this brilliance, this amazing one power, one life, one presence, one glory that is living itself as me. What's the state of my, when I'm one with this, when I'm knowing that, mm, my state is bliss. I'm in a state of bliss, a state of peace, a state of, of grace. Woo, look how everything is just mm, coming together, coming and showing itself right on time. So fun. Like we can start having fun with life. You know, and it's funny because I, I was thinking, when did I get to be so serious. Somewhere along the line, I'm cruising with life, and, da, 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 and then I, I got serious. I'm like, oh, I seriously have to make, get these bills paid. I seriously got to get my life together. I, you know, ooh, okay, that's very serious. <laughs> and it made me think about I, uh, I, I study ancient wisdom teachings and, and along with our new thought teachings and just, just the lover of the divine in the ways that it reveals itself. But you know, some ancient wisdom teachings like Hebrew is read from right to left instead of from left to right. And... Uh, and so I was like, well, at some point in time, you know, it was like, I was told, be serious. You got to be serious. 
But then I was thinking, what if really what it means is I got a serious B. I got a serious B. Serious B is a star. It's the brightest star. And it's brighter than the sun. It is effervescent, shining. What if I got that a little backwards? And instead of being serious, I need to just align with the bright, amazing light that I am, that we all are, the stars within us, and open up and shine. Follow Sirius B that is shining in the darkness. So just like we had to go inside when the street lights came on, that is because it was getting dark outside. Sometimes our life is getting dark. Sometimes there's the appearance of tragedy and hardship and things look pretty bad. They look rough. And we go through our dark nights. It's part of our living. And when we're in that dark place, or it seems to be that way, just remember, serious be. Remember the light. It's ever shining. It's always shining. And whether you can hold that knowing or, or not, we can always just take a breath and remember that we are that light. And maybe as we're sitting on a corner somewhere, someone will drive by and say, I see you, you're the light. Everything's going to be OK. Because everything is OK in the state of our union. So what is that state for you? Think on that. Be your own authority. And we get to walk with faith. This little acronym came to me about faith. Fear ain't interfering with my transformational healing. <laughs> Fear ain't interfering with my transformational healing. Okay, I'm walking in faith. Fear, those little walls of, of fear, those, those knots that are in the way. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not interfering with my transformational healing. I'm embracing that. I'm claiming it because I know that I am one with the divine, that I am an expression of the divine, that the fullness of God is right here with me as me, shining its light. We just get to say yes and come out and play. All right. So own who we are. Yes. Thank you. So that just leads me into a moment of some music. Music, music, music. <laughs> a beautiful reminder for each of us that we are the power. All right. You guys ready to own that? Yeah! Hey, hey, all right, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, spout shine in your light. I'm gonna be DWP and turn your life on. You pay the bill when you're open and willing to turn your light on. We've been bumping round in the dark Hadn't yet discovered there's a spark in our heart Sitting, waiting so patiently To ignite with the right conductivity You 
your trash to provide your fire or to give you your gas. A mind aligned with the truth of the day will reveal a passion that will rocket your way. Strike that match today and be that light. We're the power. We are the power. We are the power. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. All right. Y'all dancing out there? when you know you're the power. Hey! Don't need nobody to scratch that itch cause you are the commander of your own light switch. It's time to flick. a possibility and will generate more love that's free you are your own utility turn on the light we have the responsibility turn on the light time to let the world see we are the light we are the power we are the power yes yeah, sing it we are the power yeah Ooh. we are the power we are the power we are the power So thank you all so very, very, very much. I love you. I'm so grateful, grateful for you. Thank you all for taking those action steps and bringing love to this planet in a greater way. It's needed, and you've got the goods. So much love and blessings. You want another song? <laughs> Let's see what we got over here. Here. Oh, okay.
Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm kind of... Song called All I Must Do Is Walk. Mm-hmm. If the path is clear and there's nothing to fear, all I must do is walk. If the way is straight and I have a key to the gate, all I must do is walk. If I have all I need to sustain and to feed me, I'm carried each step of the way. Oh, yes. And there's no need to wait, oh, no, no, to wonder or talk. All I have to do is walk. Yeah. All right, I'm going to practice. If his arms are around me, catching my fall, all I need do is lean. Yeah. Since she's shining her light through my soul so bright, I can know what my life really means. It's a moment of glory, so sweet and divine. Heavenly secrets unlock. In strength I stand in the master's hand And all I must do is walk This life has everything No limit to what we see Build your bridge of faith And move to your dreams This life has everything No limit to what we see Build your bridge of faith and move to the dream you were meant to be. Yeah. Hey. This is a song all about the faith. You know, if it's all here for us, like the spirit tells us, all we have to do is just take a step, put one foot in front of the other, pick up the phone, do what you got to do. All we got to do is walk. Yeah. Trust the heartbeat inside that resounds as your guide. Take a stand, take a step, and walk. March in truth and in light when you're called in the night, in the day, anytime you must walk. There's only the one, so no harm can be done. Unshakable is your rock. Yeah. In love and grace. Say yes to your place, it's just for you. And all you must do is walk now. I said walk on, yeah. Walk, yeah. All we got to do is walk, yeah. All right, y'all, can you say, walk, yeah, uh, uh, walk, all we got to do, uh, all we got to do is walk, yeah, let's practice, walk, walk. let's stand, everybody, come on, walk, walk. Yeah. that's right, that's right, all, all you got to do on it, that's right, walk. stretch your stuff, everybody, now, walk. that's right, you're a queen, you're a king, walk. woo, ha, all we got to do is Walk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk, uh, uh. You gotta walk. walk. These boots are made for walking. These boots are made for walking. Walk. All we got to do is walk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, thank you, everyone. Come on, give her another round. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Mm, thank you so much. So we are going to take this moment to become still, to continue with this beautiful, beautiful work that we are doing here. I just honor you so much. And we're going to take some time to get still, to have a meditative moment. And so just take in a breath together and release it. Just become present in this moment of now. And maybe even turn up the corners of the lips and just smile into the body. Just bringing that smile down into the heart space, listening to the heart as it repeats, I love you, I love you, I love you. And bringing that smile into all of the organs of the abdomen, just relaxing melting, smiling into the pelvic floor, opening, bringing peace all around. And allow that energy of love and embrace to flow down through the legs, the calves, and into the feet, down into the roots, into the earth, connecting, feeling the pulse of the earth, the consistency, the grounded. and bringing that energy back into the body and up through the back body and into the head space and out the crown. And just feel yourself lit up from the inside out with this eternal, infinite energy of pure love, pure grace. We are that light. So as we allow that fountain of light to flow all around us and back into the body, and out the crown and falling down, we just Take these moments to be still, to be silent, listening, listening to the still small voice of love.
gently bring our attention back into this space. Feeling the expansion, the energy, we are fortified in this state of our oneness. the love, and allowing ourselves in this beautiful world to know a sense of freedom that is our inalienable right. So thankful and grateful for this day, for this time, for the sweet presence of God, of love, permeating all things. Grateful for the healing time of our coming together and holding this world in a high vibration of its truth. All is well. And so it is. Ashe. Are we all here? It has truly been a wonderful, wonderful ceremony. I would like to just turn and give attention to Miss Marion <clears throat> one more time. Thank you so much for your gifts. Thank you for sharing all of you with us, um, with all of us. <laughs> Not only was it a beautiful presentation, but it was a wonderful and very deep meditation. And I watched, just as we were all going under, going in, going deep, your lights went. The entire room was so bright. It was beautiful. So thank you for lending your beautiful energy to tonight's ceremony. What we do is very important. And the fact that you have all shown up today and represented your own life so well by giving so much of it to the rest of us, we're grateful for your presence. So Spiritual Unity Movement, um, we're at the end of our program, but I just wanted to invite you to know that Spiritual Unity Movement does have a ministerial program. If anyone is interested in that, interested in becoming a minister through Spiritual Unity Movement, you can go to our website and send an email to sum, what is it? sumfullmoon at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you. Um, and I just wanted to say it. I needed to say it. So this has been a night of enlightenment in body, mind, and spirit. And however we move in the world, we move more consciously after this evening. We remember that we know how to now walk in faith. So we're taking a step forward. We have our acronym. We can repeat that in our minds as we move through the day. We know what it feels like to be open and allow all of us to be present. And we remember just from my Spidey story <clears throat> to stay heart opened. Yes. Stay heart opened. And I'm just gonna slide your things over just a little bit here. Did you eventually use a slider? You know, I did. I, I found a piece of tissue and I walked over and I, I talked to it and it climbed on and then I laid it in the grass uh -huh. and it was good. Okay, so we're at the close of our full moon 
ceremony. Together, we have ignited a gigantic and beautiful web of light. So remember that you have done that. You are personally linked in and connected too. So when things start feeling a little bit wonky, just go, oh yeah, okay? Because wherever you go, you are you and your light is shining with you. So, end of the night, in your program, at the back of the page, is um, our invocation. And this is not the great invocation that we did at the beginning. This is our closing inv invocation, and we will do that together. I wanted to let you know and invite you as well. Mar Marianne <clears throat> has a table full of beautiful items for you. Um, there are CDs. You can go over there and take a look. What else do you have? Oh, ooh, love lyric cards. I play with those all the time. They help keep you grounded in the here and now while reminding you that life is a beautiful song and you are it. I love those cards. Thank you. I would like to thank Miss Florence Riggs for leading us in our opening ritual and she will lead us in our closing ritual in just a moment. Um, again, we've are grateful for Marianne's presence and for all of your presence. And just so you know, 501c is, 50, SUM is a 501c3. And our donations, the way we get life on is, they come through you, those who attend and those who are online. Um, if you'd like to donate to the to Spiritual Unity Movement's work, there is a donate button in the chat box. Frank put that there for you. If anyone, Oh, there's a link, my apologies. And if anyone has need of prayer, or knows anyone that has need of prayer, Florence is holding up our, our healing box in the back. Um, we pray on those, there's like 35 people who pray on those every month, and some of them every day. So if you have anything, feel free to drop that in there. <clears throat> uh, let's see. And if you have donated anything to SUM or still intend to, know that your donations are, are tax deductible. And Liz, our treasurer, can help you out with that. Okay, I think I'm done. Am I done? Is there anything else I need to remind you of? Does anyone know? Okay. I, would, I think we're good now. So I invite Florence to come on up and we'll do our closing ritual. No, I haven't. Come on up. In the back of your page, in the back of your program, rather. Closing invocation, and we'll do that together. Father, Mother, God, and Goddess, thank you for the blessings we have received. Be with us now as we leave this sacred circle and go forth into our daily lives, taking the energy generated here tonight out into our homes, our work, the people we love, and all we touch. May we be your open channels into this world each day. Uh -huh. So once again, uh, Dina and I would like to invite anyone who's curious about being on our 501c3 all-volunteer board. And the only responsibility, is there are no dues, there is only a once-a-month board meeting where we talk about the next ceremony and we spark ideas and we talk about healing. So if anyone is interested, please approach one of us, Dina, myself, Liz, Frank. Who else is here? Burl. 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 Yes. And let us know. And if you are interested, we invite you to come in and sit in on three of our board meetings and then consider becoming a permanent member of the board. It is. As we come to the close of our full moon ceremony this evening, let's take a moment to savor the centered focus of healing energy that we've generated here together, 
Remember, as you let your own light shine, you simultaneously give other people permission to do the same. Clearly knowing yourself as an instrument of light, a being of spirit, you add one more grain of sand to the scales that hold the balance for our global future. And know that at a certain point, one grain of sand can tip the scales, and you, in this very moment, may be that grain of sand. Shine your light, you are the love. I would like to invite the candle lighters to come on forward to uh, form a circle around the candle table. And then everyone else, would you please come and stand and join the candle bearers? And as you're continuing to savor the healing love, light, and energy that has been created here tonight, we're sending that light out into the world. And we want to encourage you to come again next month, be on our mailing list, and Burl Bowler Jack will be our guest speaker, and he's going to also be doing a drum circle, and that will be a lot of fun. Let's embody the spiritual part power that has been generated and received from the forces of light that guide this service. And let's focus that energy into the group center, allowing it to rise up and pour this blessing out into our world through the ceiling, out through the, begin the, the, the roof, and out into the world. Think of each one of us as like an antenna sending this love, this light, this healing, this intention out into our world. Extend its positive healing effect through the awareness of humankind and the consciousness of our planet. We're going to sound the extended freeform OM, and as the sacred tone pours through you, feel yourself participating, drawing this healing love energy deeply into yourself and sending it out into your life and into our world. As we sound the Om, let's consciously extend our blessings to our planetary life, to Mother Earth, including the animals, the trees, the rocks, the minerals, the air, the water, all beings, as well as to all those who are in need of healing. And for those we would like to include in this healing circle, let's speak their name together, silently or audibly. And with the power, love, and intelligence, let's send out this healing light energy and transform the consciousness of humankind. Oh. Oh. Namaste, thank you. Namaste.